Okay, guys, how you going? I'll just turn the aircon down so you can hear me. Uh, with my videos, I'm always looking for different content for you guys. Um, that's why I've come up with this dough bait video that I've just done. Now, I'm going out today and I'm going to fish with the dough bait and I just want you to see how simple and easy and cheap it is to take a family out for a day's fishing. Anyway, we're going to get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. It's time to put man's secret dough bait to the test. <laughs> little lighting might be on the micro size of size of fish at the moment but it's the beauty about this dough bait it catches everything it's beautiful little lighting getting better <laughs> Nan's day bait, mate. I've been fishing for like two minutes. <laughs> sort of wrong, isn't it? Well, oh, that's the only drama. He swallowed that hook. Probably best off. Just cut that off and tie a new one on. Wait, come here. Yep, that's Nan's day bait. That was the tiniest little piece of it. I'm going to get stacks like this. Hey, okay. see you buddy. I'm using the smallest ball sinker you can get. With a tiny, tiny number six drop shot. I'll probably go up bigger later in the day, but I just wanted to catch sort of anything that swims. A good drop shot hook for bream is a number two. Four you'll catch just about anything and a number six you'll catch the micro fish. So we're going to work the number six for a while. The thing about this dough bait, I went a lure fish, I just target specific fish. But this little dough bait, it'll just catch just about anything. I'm hoping later today I'm gonna just pepper one spot and uh, see if I can get some of those big mullet to bite it. But the, And while I'm at it, the reason I chose this spot was one, because there's plenty of fish here, and two is there's a dog park with boutique designer dogs there, beautiful dogs. Tennis courts, netball courts, I think there's a baseball court here or on the other side, walk paths, everything you want for a family. And then the fishermen in the family, I mean all you need is a hand line for this sort of thing. Fishermen and family can come down here and have a little flick. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'll just come to this point here so I could uh, work my way back up. I just need a tide with me. So I'll just see what happens. What was that? Quite happy catching microscopic fish right now. Oh, lost him. There's 
these might only be tiny brim, but there is better fish in here, and uh, this has given me an indication of. Look, I've sat here for five minutes, putting the tiniest piece of bait on like that, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden they've come to me. The bigger ones to do the same. Oh, already got him. <laughs> uh, I promise you I'll go look for bigger fish in a minute. So, man, how many times you take the kids out? They've got very little tolerance and patience. So you really want to get them on the fish as quick as you can. Yep, oh, baited. Hey, buddy. Well, oh, you can smell my dough bait. Oh, Toad. Oh, I'm making just use a tiny little bit of dough. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a few brim already. Hey. Yeah, but I just wanted to do a video on uh, like, not many people they take the kids down fishing, they do their ass. It's like make a bit of dough bait. Yeah. Come down here and have a bit of fun. Yeah. You know, you're walking your dog. This guy's over there playing tennis. You know. Ah, good way to so, spend the day. Yeah, we call it urban fishing. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs> no worries. Thanks, man. Mm, they like me. Done a fantastic regeneration job here. It's really looking good. So I watched it grow over the last few years and they've done a great job. But that canal is putrid. And I've come back up to where my car is, thinking I was going to get a shitload. Couldn't get, I haven't been able to get a bite. I even put a little gulp worm on just to check. Nothing. So I'm going to go up here, have one more look up here, see if it clears up a bit. If not, we'll go to another canal. Yeah, that's why the fish have stopped biting. Look at that coming out of there. I think we've got to go to another canal. It's a bummer. I knew something shut them down because it was just too easy. Seeing that chemical oozing out of that pipe and watching the fish just disappear like that just puts me into a rant. It's like nearly every one of these baits has a canal with sewage running in it and they seem to let chemical in it too. And that is, there's the tag. I wonder why they put that there. I haven't float fished for, I don't know, 20 years. I actually did a float fishing video not long ago. Not a proper one though. Ah. Why is that not going down the float? That's probably why. 
Little far fetch. Well, there we go. Hey, I think we're on. Yep. <sighs> We've got too much line, I'll just shorten it up a bit. Uh, I'll just short I'll just shorten it up a little bit. See that it helps with the hook up. I love watching these boats go choo, straight down. Watch it, you already see look, 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 look. He's already on. Yep. <laughs> Nan's dough bait, mate. Have you catched any fish? Yeah. Hey. That's what I'm doing it for, the kids, mate. That's exactly why I'm doing it. You gotta stop eating my hooks, guys. I'm gonna go a bigger hook. Look, your family man, kids haven't got patience. Come down and do this. Not here, anywhere, but the dough bait's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Ooh, looks like we have a fish on. Oh, what is that? That's a nice fish. We got a real oh we had a real brim on dang it was a very very big brim probably close to a kilo if i could land one like that i'll be pumped i should have landed that one i've been just using a little tiny hook because i've been targeting little tiny fish but but that's changed everything. Just love the way they take off with it. I think there's one on it already, look. Yep. Oh. Now I've got to go through the, the small fish bites to get that bigger fish. Look, straight away. <laughs> I want one of those real big ones now though. I'll get one. Look at that, man's day boat. Again. Hey boys, thank you. These young fellas roaming the streets around here are really good kids, just like they are around my area at Norvo, B6. But they they've got growing bodies, growing minds. So you gotta you gotta let kid, these kids have adventures. And then I, I got a comment on my page the other day about I was promoting the uh, fish docking at the ponds lake. The young bloke said that you're not allowed to fish there anymore and they've actually taken our fish dockings off the New South Wales docking list. So they just do not want people fishing in Sydney, but they can go and get stuff because I know it's a good thing. One there, it's got to be baited. The beauty about this is it's different than lure fishing. It, doesn't really educate them. They just keep coming back for it. A bit shy.
Here we go. Straight away. Ah, oh, dropped him. Dang. Like I said though, they don't get educated, so they'll just keep feeding on that until it, hopefully one of them grabs the hook. First one ripped the float down, so there'll be a couple of good ones in here. Take it. Oh, three in a row I've dropped. No, that's not the bait's fault, that's my. Let's try number four. Here we go. Take it. Got ya. Say that a little. Doesn't matter. Just wanted to prove how good this bait was to you guys. And do it in an environment where young kids need something to do. Which is inner Sydney. It's no different anywhere in the country. Biggin. Biggin. Nah, another little one. I will do another fishing video after this um, with this day bait. I've still got, I've still got most of it actually. Like you don't use much, but I'll go, I'll go into the harbour and actually. Uh, target big brim brim whiting flathead with it you take this around black wattle bay like we go and watch that last video we did at black wattle bay you take your dough bait in there and the float and just drift it around all those moored boats you're gonna have a ball uh, canal. i went i went down there earlier yeah i don't know why this isn't rowing what do you uh, do, release them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't eat them here. I went down there early, but the canal was putrid. Like... Yeah, occasionally, um, well, I mean... Yeah. They, they must dump stuff in it from time to... There was a big dead stingray up here the other week. Was there? Yeah. I, I had a stingray have a go at one of my baits earlier. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like, that's not good. When you see a stingray dead, yeah. you, you know there's something wrong with the oh, system. It, it could have been sick. Yeah. You know, and got stranded. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think it this... It might have even come up this far because it thought it was safe, you know? Yeah. From things like bull sharks or whatever. Yeah, true. True, true. Um, well, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't need anything out of it. No. Or even in that. Um, they don't recommend it. Um, for years it's been banned, right? Down yeah. In uh, Iron Cove there. Yeah, so yeah. The marina around the corner is probably still... But do you know, you know the ironic bit is that they're out, uh, they're out there uh, promoting swimming in the Parramatta River. They're yeah. going, oh, you can swim in the Parramatta River. Yeah. Iron Code's toxic from these canals. Hen and Chicken Bay's toxic. Yeah. Um, Putney, Morrison Bay's toxic. Yeah. The Upper Parramatta's toxic. Yeah. It all runs to the ocean. It's like, how's how's it safe to swim in that? And. Yeah, probably not with all the rain that we've had either. That's but right. They say they say things up, eh? Yeah, they say you shouldn't swim 48 hours after it rains, but it's all got to, it's all got to go out to sea. Yeah. So, and it's not just the shit; it's the chemicals as well. I was wondering how to make this uh, bait, my Nan's secret dough bait, 
there should be at the end of this video a link on the bottom corner which is me making the secret topo so make sure you watch that and this is just the part one of the video i'm gonna go and target other species of fish and bigger fish in another one so thank you for watching oh i'll see you on the next one Should have fished out here today. Oh, stab me. That took two seconds.